。二零二四年九月十四号，家住这场中摔有史以来最令人期待的职业摔角直播赛事 ——I T W 冠绝上海滩，门票已在大麦平台进行发售。Introducing first, a company by Chit. Oh, hold on a minute. What's? 不好意思，你根本没有资格来。Oh, come on, Chairman Al. 的这个选手。A company by the biggest crown jewel of Chinese wrestling, the always gorgeous. Queen Marie. He's from the Great Britain. He's taller than everybody. He's stronger than everybody. And more importantly, he is the Chinese wrestler's Taizu. He is also our stable. The most important thing is that he is strong. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you Big Sam. Representation of the stable, not far and gone. Big Sam makes his way down to ringside for what is set to be our semi-main event of the evening. A match that Big Sam has been calling for ever since his last interaction with All Japan Pro Wrestling Zone Yoshi Tatsu back in Shanghai last year. We're going to talk all about it. But good Lord, have mercy, Big Sam. Chairman Al definitely did not lie in reference to this man. Bigger than every single person in this arena. Six foot four inches, 275 pounds. An absolute monster that Big Sam is. And definitely one that Yoshitatsu is going to have to do his damnedest to chop down. Chester England native, a former Middle Kingdom Wrestling World Champion, and of course, a wonderful representation for the stable. It was the new Dangerous Alliance, the stable and the Japanese Illuminati that found themselves with victory earlier on in the evening. Can Big Sam carry that momentum forward into singles victory against one of the best Japanese athletes to ever step inside of a Middle Kingdom Wrestling ring? Tonight, we find out in our semi-main event. Opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing at 220 pounds, the hardcore ass kicker, Yushi Tatsu. World class, world Out famous, Yushi Tatsu. Out of the show, from Japan, 220 pounds, the hardcore ass kicker. Well familiar with Yoshitatsu from his time during the Japan Pro Wrestling train at the Nogi Dojo, alongside some of the best to ever do it. Former Never Openweight Six Man Tag Team Champion alongside the Ace of the Universe, the President of New Japan Pro Wrestling, my good pal Hiroshi Tanahashi, and of course Michael Elgin. But you know, beyond that, folks, world traveled in every single sense of the word. Former WWE standout, former NXT standout, New Japan Pro Wrestling, SCW in Florida, and then now All Japan Pro Wrestling to MKW. TV champion in All Japan Pro Wrestling, former All Japan World Tag Team champion alongside Kento Miyahara, one of the best to ever do it. 
2024 champion carnival winner, two-time All-Asia Tag Team Champion alongside Tajiri at Sushi Onita. Yoshi Tatsu has not done one thing in Metal Kingdom Wrestling. That has become MKW World Champion. You want an opportunity at the MKW World Championship? Well, Big Sam says, try walking through the greatest MKW World Champion to ever live. And that is Yoshi Tatsu's goal here tonight. Talking a little bit about how we got here, folks. Tatsu made his Middle King Wrestling, Middle Kingdom Wrestling debut rather in Shanghai last year. Helped Zombie Dragon and Ho-Ho Loon defeat the stable and Bitman. Following that match, it was Big Sam who said, Hey, Yoshitatsu, you want to prove yourself in Middle Kingdom Wrestling? Well, how about you prove yourself against me, the biggest man to ever live, the biggest Sam to ever live in a one-on-one -on -one bout? Middle Kingdom Wrestling Management viewed this one so highly. Well, hell, it's our semi-main event. Big drop kick there. It takes Big Sam to the outside. Everything that Sam does is big. It's larger than life. It's what has made him such the star that he is in Middle Kingdom Wrestling. Such a force and an ally to Chairman Al and Queen Marie in the stable ranks. The formation of this new dangerous alliance. It's one of the most influential times in Middle Kingdom Wrestling we have seen. Changing of the guard in the new Dangerous Alliance, in the stable, with the Japanese Illuminati now, so. And of course, still to come in our main event, Big Sam wants his opportunity at the Middle Kingdom Wrestling World Championship once again. Yoshi Tatsu would love to compete for the same title coming up in the near future, potentially even in Shanghai. You want to establish yourself, hold on a minute. That well, Big Sam, that, that's not just an audience member, that's Sean, that's, that's the reason Yoshitatsu's here, that's Yoshitatsu's agent. And Yoshitatsu, not going to take too well to the man that's pushing around the guy, answering his emails and answering his business calls. There's one individual who knows how to command a crowd, it is Yoshitatsu, and Sean says, don't worry about me, focus on your match, kick that man's ass, and Tatsu's gonna do just that right here. As Yoshi Tatsu up, down, big, big shot there on the apron. That's where Steelen would glide, folks, hardest part of the ring. Right there, dead in the center. Talking a little bit about some of the differences and some of the similarities for Big Sam and Yoshitatsu. Yes, these men of larger stature, especially in the ranks of Asian professional wrestling, there's no doubt about it. Six foot four, 275 pounds is Big Sam. We're talking six foot two, two inches shorter for a man like Yoshitatsu. 224 pounds, definitely giving up a lot in the weight advantage. However, Yoshitatsu makes up for much more in his. 46 years of age, his 21 years of in-ring experience, and especially his world-class training under the New Japan Pro Wrestling no Gay Dojo. As a blatant show here, dead center of the ring, Big Sam gonna have to break this one up. The other major differences between Big Sam and Yoshitatsu, the levels of competition, the intensity of schedule, so to speak, for these men. Yoshitatsu most recently competed back at DDT Pro Wrestling Sweet Dreams 2024 Shinagawa event, picking up a massive victory in Tokyo in tag action. That was only six days ago. From Singapore to Malaysia to Taiwan, and now Japan and China. Yoshitatsu called out a lip lock right there, devastating submission, so to speak. Wow, Big Sam, last career match, November 2023, Grand Crown, Kung Fu City 4. As Tatsu, Sunset, flipping up the shoulders down, a Big Sam, cover here, and it's two. Think about what it would mean for the career of Yoshitatsu to defeat an 
MKW World Champion in the past. The likes of Big Sam and also one of the most dominant men the Middle Kingdom Wrestling roster has seen. Beyond that for the English native, however, Big Sam picking up a victory over a former WWE standout, former New Japan Pro Wrestling, current All Japan Pro Wrestling, current Middle Kingdom Wrestling, caught out of midair. Here we go, Big Sam. It's your opportunity. You want to make a big impact. Everything that man does is big. The cover, and it's only two. Cover attempts here for Big Sam. Still to come later on in our main event, folks. You do not want to miss it. A vacant Middle Kingdom Wrestling World Championship will be crowned later on in three-way action. Franco Varga, Cold Ray. And the slam, Yoshi Tatsu and Big Sam, folks, will definitely have their eyes set on that matchup. These two men, this is truly a proving grounds, a rankings matchup, so to speak. Middle Kingdom Wrestling sees it as such, so big to place it in the semi-main event of this incredible night of action at Bash of the Bay 3. Right to the chest. Here for Big Sam. Big Sam, great weight distribution here. Able to ground himself by dropping down to that one knee. It makes that leverage advantage much more difficult for Yoshi Tatsu to maintain. Tatsu changed the game a little bit. Caught up, planting down potentially. And one darted right into that top turnbuckle pad by Big Sam. And even bigger is that sidewalk onto the knee. The cover, the win, it's two. Great action that we continue to see here in our semi-main event of the evening. We saw that code breaker from Jericho earlier on by Yoshi Tatsu. Realized that and learned that from none other than AEW's Chris Jericho, former AEW World Champion. And Big Sam now sent to the outside. It's a precarious spot to be. Chairman is going to have to watch out here. Larry manages to take down Tatsu. So interesting to notice how everywhere Yoshitatsu has gone, he has maintained some sort of hold or maneuver from wherever he has proclaimed himself to be. And Chairman Al, weak shots to the back of Tatsu, but they had an impact nevertheless. Tatsu's time training under Yuji Nagata in the Noke Dojo allowed him to utilize a backdrop hold the same way that Nagata has the code breaker from Jericho from AEW Zone, the land of the rising knee, that hip toss into the knee strike, adopted from former Noge Dojo standout trainee, Shinsuke Nakamura. But it's not just about what you claim to put in your repertoire, but how well you can utilize it, and how well you can transition into those moves. And Tatsu. Great opportunity to transition into some sort of game-ending maneuver right here, right now. Has Big Sam down, and that's not a place you can keep him easily. As Sam now sends Tatsu into that turnbuckle. Out and up. Got him. Kick right to the chest. Going to look for it one more time. Got it. Here we go. Tornado DDT. Impact right on the neck. Taking a look at it one more time here, folks. Yoshitatsu, bam, Big Sam. That wasn't just right on top of the head. It was nearly more so on the neck than it was the top of the skull. We're talking spinal compression. We're talking neck damage. We're talking severity unlike any other that Big Sam has ever faced. The welts forming on the back of Big Sam are official, taken out inadvertently. Oh, and Yoshitatsu... Try as he might. On oh, that knee right to the gut. 
Big Sam, that was a last ditch effort for Yoshitatsu to try and create any separation. Separation no longer, no longer necessary. Power bomb. Big Sam won the MKW World title with this exact move years ago. But the official's out. Big Sam knows what he's done. And the gears are turning and Big Sam's mind knows exactly how this could cost him in the end. Yoshitatsu, Yoshitatsu, that Fujiwara, Fujiwara on bar here from Yoshitatsu. Yoshitatsu lock two, has it locked in right here. And it's not full rotation, but by God, it's close enough. And Big Sam has nowhere to go, has to utilize those long limbs, try and find his way to the bottom rope sometime soon. And broken up here, what in the hell, Uncle Money. always has a plan A through Z and we're seeing it on full display here tonight. Uncle Money, harsh impact. Two of the largest men on the roster here. And Uncle Money, a spear to Big Sam. And Big Sam's down, Big Sam's down. And Yoshitatsu has an opportunity for the victory of a lifetime tonight. Tatsu has to change the narrative, control one of his own, rewrite destiny. At 46 years of age, Tatsu from the top, spinning wheel kick, takes down Big Sam from the heavens, the cover, the win. Yoshi Tatsu is your victor. It was a match that Big Sam asked for on his own accord following that six-man tag match back in Shanghai. The Middle Kingdom Wrestling Management thought so highly of Big Sam's request, said, hey kid, we're gonna place you in the semi-main event of one of our biggest shows of the year at Bash the Bay 3. By God, Yoshitatsu showed Big Sam what for, but it did not come easily. Look at these shots right here. Uncle Money being the one to change the narrative tonight. Spinning wheel kick right off the top. Yoshitatsu, one, two, three. Your winner tonight in Bash at the Bay 3. And folks, we thank you so much for joining us here live tonight at Middle Kingdom Wrestling Zone Bash the Bay 3 in Guangdong. But we are getting set for our main event. Our main event still to come, the MKW World Title on the line three-way match.